It's been almost a year since the COVID-19 pandemic came to the University of Oregon. <laughs> Last March, President Schill announced U of O's new reality. Nothing is more important than your well-being, which is a big reason we decided to move to remote instruction next term. A year and 1,500 COVID cases later, we ask, how well has U of O handled the pandemic? I, I don't know of any other university around the country where um, people have been as willing to listen to faculty expertise about things that matter. I, I've, I've thought it was great. Benjamin Clark, Associate Professor of Public Administration, works with U of O's incident management team. They have taken a very uh, proactive and measured response uh, using science as the basis of their decision making. While no response to this pandemic has been perfect, I feel very confident in the leadership that we have at the university. Professor Melissa Graboys, who saw the pandemic unfold firsthand in Italy last February, is involved in a faculty engagement team for coronavirus communications. Even though we have lots of people who have experience working in public health in the public and private sector, that these people were not asked to participate in the university's response, to give feedback on the university's response. And sometimes when we did give feedback on the university's response, and I count myself in this category, we were criticized for it and said that we were not being team players and that we should keep our criticisms to ourselves. Peters sees a path to in-person learning. I'd love to see them set up a way to get people vaccinated on campus. Have they always gone as fast as I wanted them to? No. Do I see ways that they might've been able to go faster? I don't know. They're, they've, they're, I think they've been doing a good job.